Hey everybody, this is Stratagem, and today we're gonna watch the Hell of a Boss pilot by Vivsy Pop. Once again, I know pretty much nothing about this, except that it's made by the same team, or part of the same team, who made Has Been Hotel. And since that was pretty fun, I am pretty optimistic for this one here. Just like Has Been Hotel, this cartoon is not for kids, and so is this reaction. So if you are under the age of 14, you should run away right now, lest you spontaneously combust. And the same thing holds true if you are easily offended, because apparently both Has Been Hotel and this one hell of a boss are offensive to some people. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, you have been warned, so if you want to complain, I don't care, I want you. Yeah, and with that out of the way, I think we can start. As usual, you can find the link to the original in the description, so if you haven't watched the original yet, I would advise you to do that beforehand. And with that out of the way, let's not waste any more time. Here we go. And here we are. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud. All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yeah, has it? It's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone <laughs> have any bright ideas on how we He kind of looks like up again? a big version of the <laughs> goat demons. This is hell, Millie. What? No one cares about cars. Cars? Clean here, okay? Yeah. Oh, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. You can't? Why not? Have you guys <laughs> forgotten what service we provide? Yes. I have no idea what you provide. Is it killing? I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. <laughs> one that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, that sounds like good marketing. Obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. <laughs> I love musicals, sir. Exactly. Yeah, they do. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you going to crush my good idea. theater dreams like my dad did? Because right now, <laughs> all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me. Crushing what? My dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I he probably, what? maybe. I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, <laughs> after I made you employee of the month. <laughs> okay. Great photo. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody yeah. actually likes the jingles. I liked it. It do not depends on the jingle. With him in front of me. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of I am P. What? Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent <laughs> to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? <laughs> After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, I could imagine yeah. my surprise when I wound up here. After the what a surprise! Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy job. Oh, it's Tommy hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, Katie Killjoy. So it's the same universe. I guess. We can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait to oh, the immediate murder professionals, and grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals, <laughs> we do our job so well because we come straight up from hell. <laughs> great, uh, great place to pop up. Oops. Yes, that was the wrong guy. Great voice on that nurse. That's too much defibrillation. Holy shit! It actually worked. Yeah, that shouldn't have worked. Appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The <laughs> fuck is insurance? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Kids die for free. Oh, that's a that's a great offer. I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. <laughs> oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. <laughs> you sit. Sit on a and the. Do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Uh... Are you kidding me, sir? Yeah. She's awful. She probably is. Hello, INP. <laughs> Just hang on. Happy I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? <laughs> I... 
Then I don't want it. Oh, oh it's sorry, spiders. spiders. God damn it. Um, excuse me. Did you oh, hey. fax me an ad for weight loss? No. Wow. What why why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Whoever left the buggy <laughs> avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover for Why not? this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my yeah. lunch? You know what? It I was. need to take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. <laughs> <laughs> it, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. Sounds a little dtf -y. Oh god, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. What? What? Yeah. Just a book, just a book, not this fucking heavy book. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I good job, mate. Husband. This time, Stolas. There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but <laughs> more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets makes sense. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know yeah. what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, <laughs> I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red of yours. Your um, and lick all of your yeah. Or taking out your and with more teeth until you're screaming like a fucking baby. Yep, that sounds like fun. Yep, right call. Eat. Absolutely. Eat this, and then you know that bridge over the freeway. Yeah. Shit off it. <laughs> the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, yeah. sir. Yeah. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman <laughs> who let man the bones. That is offensive. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. <laughs> Satan bless. Oh, yeah. On the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? <laughs> Honey, can you give me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> uh, funny, honey. Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? <laughs> a normal question. I too wonder why my boss is in the fridge. Stop that. Dreaming about. I was dreaming my parents were being murdered, but now I'd like to go back to that. <laughs> of all the in hell, it's for him that I fell. Oh, Millie. Are you fucking filming us right now? <laughs> Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? <laughs> no. Maybe Wiener have her. Sir, what, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mom. Slightly. You're gonna have another panic attack. I am calm. Shh, shh, shh. There, there. <laughs> Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss. No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. <laughs> Does yep. immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It, it probably does. does. The yeah. only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, <laughs> you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am. Yeah, she looks very sensitive. Oh, you're oh, still around. Shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was what? talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? Yeah. It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed <laughs> to like clowns. Even the creepy ones. Hey, now. Yeah, it's kids are stupid. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to. <laughs> That's your husband? I figured you for a slut. 
but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you. What? What about me? Nothing. Yeah. I'm talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. <laughs> wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to I'm not surprised. Child. That's what they're saying. Oh, Christ on a stick. I guess there is a God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, folks, with this company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can. Like killing people. <laughs> so to us here at the immediate murder professionals group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. <laughs> yeah. You know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please, if anyone can be my little Eddie, please contact us and fall. Welcome. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, what a thrill when the crimson starts to spill. And my Millie goes in for the kill. She takes away my breath. She's the angel of death for me. <laughs> oh, Millie. She's the queen. It's like a dream. When I hear her victim start to scream. <laughs> in and out of the sack. She's the maniac for me. Oh, Millie, when the blood starts dripping down the walls drip, drip, drip. and the bodies start to fall, blood. my heart skips a beat when my Millie's guns are blazing in the heat. Bang, bang, bang. My sass in love, she makes the murder in fun <laughs> for me. A lot of of all the imps in hell, it's for her that I fell. Oh, Millie. <laughs> All right, yeah, this was <laughs> this too was <laughs> really fun. Uh, so it's apparently in the same universe as uh, Haspen Hotel. I guess that makes kind of sense. I mean, it's both uh, both of these series take place in hell, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this was uh, fascinating. <laughs> Again, and another interesting premise here. It's just a company that kills people. They're situated in hell and they kill people on Earth. Wonderful. <laughs> this is this is a great premise. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, once again, I am curious to see uh, when and if there will be more. I'm really hoping that they will actually get picked up somehow. I don't know, maybe for TV, maybe in some other way to continue as a web series. Because uh, yeah, this, this was uh, this was this was really enjoyable. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, don't really don't really have much much more to say here. To be to be quite honest. So. I'm just gonna call it quits here. As usual, here are some links from me, uh, Twitter, DeviantArt, uh, and the other thing, Patreon. Um, and yeah, as always, I have been Stratagem. Thanks for watching and see you next time.